In this video, we will be creating this documentary style intro. My name is Emil, without further ado, let's jump into it. In the electric car industry, one name dominates conversations, Tesla. But while Tesla grabs headlines, another company has quietly grown into one of the largest electric vehicle manufacturers. This is one of our episodes from the tutorial series for popular YouTube channels like Vox, Johnny Harris, Magnus Media and others. Please check the download section for project files download. I have added the download link in the description of this video. So firstly, we're going to create a composition. I'll click on the composition icon, then I'll name it Tesla logo. And 30 frame rate, 20 seconds long, I'll hit OK. Then we will just drag and drop our Tesla logo here. So I'll select it, then I'll go to layer, then I'll click on auto trace. I'll hit OK. Now we have traced logo. Now I will switch off our Tesla main logo, then I'll select our auto traced Tesla logo, then I'll go to Effect, Video Copilot, Saber. Now I'll go to Saber, then I will select our energy. So Tesla is something related to electric car. So I'll select electric, then I'll go to Customize Core so that we can tell Saber that we're going to follow all the masks that we have in our Tesla logo. So I'll select here, then I'll click here, then I'll select layer masks. So now we have a traced Tesla logo. Now I'll go to render settings and I will switch on the transparent so that we have everything transparent going on. And I will now I will toggle off the mask. Okay. Now I will go to our flickering option. So I want some sort of flickering. So I'll select mask randomization so we'll we will have some sort of random effect and i will go to distortion glow distortion okay and we can also change the distortion type from smoke to fluid or energy and we have another core distortion we have energy here okay so we can also change it for example i'll i will make it fluid or maybe smoke okay now we need to animate our logo so i'll go to one second long and I will increase the start size for example 150 and start offset will be animated so I will just hit the stopwatch option here then I will move forward to our zero frame then I'll make it 100 okay so it will start something like this okay now we're going to create another animation. I'm using a newspaper article screenshot and I would like to portray it is in a holographic screen and there is energy surrounding it and there is some sort of noise going on in the footage or in the placeholder. So right now it is looking something like this. Now how we can make something like this. So firstly, I have created a composition and I named it as a placeholder and I just drag and dropped the newspaper article screenshot here. Now I'm going to create another composition and I'll name it holographic newspaper. I'll hit OK and now I'll just drag and drop our placeholder. As you can see, if I look here, we just moved it a bit back okay so i'm going to select this one i'll make it 3d and i'll press p on my keyboard then i'll make it something like this okay now i will select this placeholder then i'll go to layer then i will select auto trace i'll just keep it default all the settings i'll hit okay and now we have a auto traced placeholder now i'll select the auto traced placeholder layer then i'll go to video copilot then i'll select saber we need to go to customize score then we need to select layer mask so that it follows all the lines we need to go to render settings then we need to scroll a bit down then right now composite settings is black and we need to make it transparent okay so now we have some sort of glowy effect going on but we want some sort of noise 
in our footage so i'll just toggle off this auto crest placeholder i'll just select the placeholder then i'll go to effect then i'll go to noise here is our noise and i will make something like 30 to 25 percent it will give us some sort of a noisy effect see i zoomed in so if i close it i'll just toggle switch on so here you can see that noise amount okay so i'll move it back and now we want some sort of distortion effect as you can see here i have used a distortion effect going on and i used here web warp okay you can easily find it so you just need to go to effects and presets and select the wave warp wave warp so here is wave warp i'll just drag and drop it here okay now i'll just toggle off noise so so that we can explain it a bit better okay so there are so many types of wave type or warp type we will basically select the noise okay so here we go we have the noise but it is way too much okay so i'll I'll just make sure it is around like three. It is up to you. You just experiment with it. Now, if we play it, see, there is continuous noise going on or some sort of distortion going on. Okay. So we can animate it in so many ways. Either we can click on the stopwatch, change the values from section to section, like point from duration point to point. And we can also make it some sort of loop so we can easily do a loop version of it. So I'll just click on the stopwatch of it and make sure you press Alt. So if I press Alt, we will have our expression option. So now I will write wiggle, okay, then comma, then we can keep it five. Okay, so now we have some sort of random animation. So now if you look if you look closely our main height wave height it actually changes from time to time so as we have a random loop effect okay so it it is looking really cool so now i will just toggle on our noise okay so we can also adjust based on our expectation okay now i will go here and i will switch on our auto traced placeholder save our effect so that we have some sort of holographic effect going on here okay so i think it is looking cool and as you can see in my other version here i have used a different type of effect so you can also adjust it just simply go to saber go to saber then go to glow settings and especially distortion okay then glow distortion so you can change it to for example like energy and also change it to something i think smoke is fine and you can also change it from here like right now it is by default you can select energy see or maybe you can also change the color of it from here or you can just simply keep it electric okay so here is our color option so we can change it from here okay i'll hit okay so i'll just keep it energy version here so this is how we can have a different style of holographic placeholder for our footage and screenshot or image anything so this is our holographic newspaper and i actually have rendered it out now i will go to adobe after effects and i have just imported our newspaper effect here and this is our holographic newspaper and this is our logo animation that we have created with saver so now i will just drag and drop it here and i'll make sure it is in 3d now i'll press p on my keyboard then i'll just move it back like back in the space and for now i'll toggle switch off the holographic newspaper layer and now i'll go to layer and null object we already have a camera so i didn't create the layer so i'll go to parent and link and i'll click on here and i'll just parent our null object okay i basically want to animate the scene in 3d space so i'll just go to transform and here we have all the position layers okay so if i press p on my keyboard it will appear something like this now here our animation comes in and our tesla logo like comes out of alive here so 
I'll just hit a stopwatch button here and I'll move back like for example a three frame so I'll just move it something like this so it will slowly zoom in zoom in then what I want within 20 frames or maybe one second I want it to zoom in okay so it will zoom in something like this and when it will bypass our logo I want our newspaper to appear here so okay so now i want to move our newspaper a bit back and okay so it will look something like this we also need to animate this part here so i'll press t on my keyboard it will open our opacity option so i'll just hit the stopwatch button here so let's zoom the timeline a bit more okay so we need to animate it frame by frame so this is our first frame i want it zero percent okay then it will pop something like this then i'll do another zero then another hundred and the zero another hundred okay it will create some sort of glitch animation and now if we move back it will look something like this and what i'll do for now i'll just select all the keyframes of the null object and press f9 so now it will look something like this and this is how we can create a holographic logo with a holographic newspaper animation just a short background story to make 100 percent realistic and useful content i thought i should start a documentary style channel so that i can make relevant style videos and project files for you. You will also find my documentary channel link in the description below. And I'm really glad that I'm able to share my journey with you. Thank you for watching.